Hopefully, I'm live right now. Yes. Okay. I, I see somebody already joined me. Okay. Awesome. Great. Well, namaste to everyone that is joining live. And we'll be joining on the recorded version, both here on Facebook and on YouTube. My name is Greg Prescott from In5D.com. And today I want to talk about the recent energy shifts, especially uh, about what happened during 11-11 and afterwards. So this is going to get really interesting. So let me get comfortable. <laughs> I usually sit cross-legged <laughs> during most of my N5D Facebook Lives, so it's just how I get comfortable. Got a lot of things I want to cover today, and I'll probably cover them in a short period of time because, you know, I don't, I don't like being the center of attention. You know, anyone that knows me knows that I'm the king of introverts, and it's really difficult for me to get in front of people like this, but I know I have to do it. And uh, I'm the one, I'm basically, when, I got that galactic download in 2008. I was basically told, you you are the voice of the introverts. <laughs> so, okay, I, I'll accept that. You know, I've always said that if there was a big party going on, and, uh, you know, so imagine there's a big party going on in, in a room like that. I'm going to be in one of the four corners of the room just watching everybody. You know, the, the extroverts would be in the center, and I'd be on the outside just being really quiet. So, like I said, it's not easy for an introvert, and I know there's a, about 85% of the people that follow N5D are introverts, um, so you guys know what I'm talking about. It's not easy to go in front of a camera and start talking, but it's what I have to do. I was also told by an Akashic Record reader that there's codes within my voice and within how I look. And uh, people people get downloads from that as well. So um, I don't know if there must be something in the tone or how I speak. I don't know what it is, but um, hopefully you guys are getting activated right now. And uh, you know, I always work on activating my DNA. That's something I work on every day, whether it's through the walk of gratitude or putting intention into water or stuff, something along those lines. So I'm kind of hoping that you know, if what I was told is true by this Akashic Record reader that you guys are benefiting from it also, from either seeing me or hearing my voice. So let's uh, hope that that's the case, because every day I'm working on, uh, I've written articles about this too, about um, activating all the codons in my DNA. Those are codons, C-O-D-O-N-S. According to the research of Greg Braden, he said that we only have 20 of the 64 codons in our DNA turned on. So if somebody can figure out how to turn on the remaining uh, 44 codons in their DNA, you can do anything. And so what I want to do, and I'm not sure what order this will be in, but I can do this in the course of less than a minute for, for both of these. But the first thing I want to do is to lay my hands down on Mother Earth and heal the air, water, and food supplies and just make her pristine. And the second thing I want to do is to hook my higher self up with every other higher self on the planet. And if you want to be activated and have your codons turn on as well and be healed of anything, it'll be done instantly. And I can do all this in a minute. Or whoever is that person that's able to figure out how to turn on all the codons in their DNA. Now, I'm sure there's probably some kind of catch where, you know, if everybody's codons were turned on and you could do anything, there'd have to be some kind of catch where, say there's one person that said, well, screw all y'all, and uh, I want to just launch a big nuclear bomb that <laughs> blows up the earth. I think it, whatever you do always has to be in humanity's best interests. So I don't think that, that something like that would be allowed. And this is where we're heading. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about it when I talk about the event a little bit more um, um, and when that white light floods the planet and all you feel is that unconditional love. So yesterday was 11-11 and I had an N5D 11-11 beach party meetup on the 99.9% .9 quartz crystal sands of Siesta Key Beach. 
and it was amazing. We had an awesome, awesome turnout. I posted pictures and some videos, and I got a couple more videos that I uploaded from a friend of mine, uh, Randall, that I'll be sharing on my personal Facebook page too from that event. And uh, we had uh, my friend Patrick brought what he calls a quantum field generator, I believe it's called. And I also brought my uh, copper pyramid. I have the six foot copper pyramid. And uh, I placed that in the center of his quantum field generator. And I did a meditation. I was meditating to the song Heart of Reiki. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that song. I think it's by Merlin's Magic or something like that. Um, I'm not sure the name of the um, the artist that, that made that song, but the, the song is called Heart of Reiki, and you can find it on YouTube. It's about an hour long, and it's an, uh, an awesome song. If you like meditating to music, I highly recommend that one. But um, I'm sweating. I'm hot. I've been so hot lately. My body's, like, burning up, but I'm not sick. But anyway, while I was underneath the pyramid and meditating to Mer uh, the Heart of Reiki, I was getting these images and visions. Um, the first image I, I saw was this, it was a quartz pyramid. It was a huge, a clear quartz pyramid that I, it seemed to engulf me. And it was really cool. And you could feel that just loving energy and presence that was channeling through the pyramid. And while I was enjoying that, all of a sudden I get this vision that I'm standing on top of this huge diamond, um, larger than the size of a football field. And I was right on top of it, looking down at the top, and you could see all the facets that were going out outwards on there. And uh, it was just an amazingly beautiful uh, vision that I had, both of them, while underneath the pyramid, on the quartz crystal sand, on the quantum field generator, so there was a lot going on. And a lot of people ended up meditating under that, and uh, you know, I was talking to other people about what they had, and there was a lot of purging going on. People had various different experiences uh, that were going on that were underneath that pyramid. Um, now, this meetup was a little bit different than the other meetups I've had in the past. What we did, though, when I first started the, the meetup, um, started up the meetup, um, I actually brought us together and we had had like a small, almost like a meditation where we basically brought in the energies uh, from the event that happens into the current timeline. Hang on a sec. This is the best water ever. It's called Alkalife. It's 10 pH. I'm not a salesman. I don't get any commissions from it. <laughs> it's the best water ever. Um, and it just tastes so good, and this, the alkaline water is so beneficial for your body. So getting back to what I was saying, what we were doing was I had this, well, let me uh, preface this first. And for those of you who don't know what the event is, oh, gosh, I'm sweating. Um, the event is, what, and I saw this and felt it and experienced it already, and other people have experienced the same exact thing. And this, this is why it's so important that you put this kind of stuff out there for, for other people to listen to, because you'll find that other people are experiencing the exact same thing that you are. Anyway, so in this vision, I saw myself standing in front of myself. I could see myself from behind looking at myself. And in an instant, this white light floods the planet. And the only thing you feel is this unconditional love like you've never felt before. Imagine, and this is the only way I can describe it, imagine the one thing or person that you love the most. For me, it's my daughter, Brittany. Multiply that by at least a million times, and you'll have an idea of what that energy is like to be immersed in that kind of unconditional love energy. That's the event. The event happens when time ends. And what's happening right now, it just seems like time is speeding up. It's kind of similar to what Terrence McKenna talked about in his time wave zero um, theory, where he said that we're spiraling towards the singularity and things are happening quicker and quicker and quicker. 
And we're, we're seeing that right now through manifestations. People, when you're manifesting, it just seems like they're manifesting like that. Your thoughts are manifesting quicker and quicker, faster and faster. And even time seems like it's going by quicker. It seems like a week is only like maybe two or three days. Are you guys experiencing that? Does it seem like time is speeding up for you? I know I can't be alone in this, obviously. Um, but that that's where... Um, that's where I feel like we're heading. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying about the, the meditation that I kind of ran before, well, as, as we uh, started the N5D um, beach meetup party on 11.11, I, I, I kind of asked, I asked for everybody to bring that loving, healing energy, that amazing, unconditional love into this timeline to kind of expedite the process of bringing the event to us. Now, there's a lot of us that have been experiencing vertigo, and it, it's abundantly clear that when these timelines are converging, as empaths, that's what we're picking up. We're picking up the convergence of timelines, and it's manifesting through vertigo. Because what's happening is you have a timeline here, one here, and they're merging like that, and then all of a sudden they're together and it creates this imbalance and it's manifesting as vertigo in our heads. And that's what we're all experiencing. A lot, well, many of us are experiencing. Um, I just want to say hi to everybody that's joining. I see Craig, Carol, Sonny, Steve, Brian, Michael, um, Joanne. Thank you for joining me on uh, this N5D Facebook Live on November, November 12th, the day after 11-11. Now, so the all day yesterday, I was very energized. I had a ton of energy. So, but anyway, last night, I decided I'm going to take a nap about 8.30 at night. And my nap, <laughs> my nap lasted until 4.30. I slept for eight hours. And I was up for maybe, I don't know, half an hour or so. And went back to bed again and slept for another five hours a total of 13 hours of sleep. I never sleep that long. Norm on a normal night, I might go to bed around 1, wake up around 5 or 6, and then take a nap maybe later on in the day. You know, get 5 hours, maybe 6 hours total sleep for the day. But yesterday, 13 hours. Well, yes, last night and two today. And then I took two naps on top of it today. So um, I slept at least 15 or 16 hours in the last 24 hours. And I made a post about that as a quick energy update on my personal Facebook page. And so many other people are experiencing the exact same thing. This is more than a coincidence. And we all know that. Um, excuse me. Oh, gosh. I'm sweating profusely. And the house is set at, gosh, 77 degrees. Normally that's really good, but my body's really hot. Um, here's a question I want to ask you guys too. Normally when people sleep, their body temperature goes down. Not mine. Mine goes up. I get hot. I sweat <laughs> in my sleep. Uh, it's, it's very abnormal. I also have an abnormal, um, sleep anomaly as well. At one point I was a little overweight and I had sleep apnea, so I went to a, I had a, what's called a, a sleep study done where you go to this um, specialty place that studies sleep apnea, and they hook up all these electrodes all over your body, and they monitor your sleeping overnight. And what they found was that I have a, this rare sleep anomaly where as soon as I go to sleep, I'm instantly into the dream stage and I get zero deep sleep. I don't get any. That's the, the uh, deep sleep stage is after the, the, the dream stage. But I stay in the dream stage all night. I'm constantly in the astral realms, obviously working. It's funny too, because have you ever caught yourself just nodding off like this and you, you bob your head up and down? I can do that. And by the time my head bobs back up again, I've had this dream that feels like it's three or four hours long. 
it's it's so hard to describe unless you've actually experienced it. But that's that's where I'm at. I'm constantly in the astral realms and, and working and multi-dimensionality. And uh, this is what we do when we go to sleep. And you know we're working in the astral realms, and a lot of times we're not even allowed to know what we're working on when, when we're up there doing that. And a lot of what we're shown is hidden within metaphor. So there's um, things that you're not supposed to know on this level, but yet a lot of us are working and doing a lot of work, especially after the 1111 with this deep tiredness and the need to go to sleep. And uh, so many of us are what I call sleep warriors. And what we're doing is we are working overtime right now in the astral realms to bring that energy of the event into this timeline. And that's that completely explains why we're all so tired right now. Many of us are doing this work on the other side of the veil. So that's really exciting. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, yeah. I was wondering about this, too, because I was talking to um, my friend, Michelle Walling, who has, is experiencing the exact, exact same thing. She's, as a matter of fact, she's out on the West Coast in Sedona um, at a conference right now. And being in a three-hour time difference, um, she's experiencing the exact same sleep patterns and you know, what I'm talking about right now too is I've got this like, it's almost like a dryness in the back of my throat, almost like in the bottom of the sinuses, the nasal cavity coming down and uh, the back of the throat going up. And I'm just wondering if other people are experiencing that as well. And if this is one of the possible ascension symptoms. So if it is, and then you are experiencing that, leave me a comment um, about that as well. Okay. Wow. Super sweat. <laughs> In 5D Facebook Live is brought to you by Alkalife. I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> it's crazy. Delicious, though. Wow. Yummy. So I think that's about all I'm going to cover for now. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions or anything you want to put put out there, I haven't even really taken a look at what's going on here, but I do want to acknowledge everyone that has joined me on N5D, um, like Gwen and Nicole and Craig and Erica, Sandra and Debbie. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. Um, and I'm getting confirmation over here. It feels like I've been in, in a fog past week, and that's coming from Santa. N N Nicole is saying, um, oh, went by too quick. I nod off at my desk a few minutes. Seems like time stands still. Yes, yeah, so there's many of us that are going through this. Uh, Samantha's saying that she needs so much water lately, really thirsty. Dehydration is huge. I totally agree. I've been drinking a lot of water, too. And uh, it's really important when you do drink the water, to put that thought and intention in there that, you know, whatever it is that you want to think and intend. Myself, I put that thought and intention that all my codons are open. And sometimes I'll, I'll do uh, reversing on that because, you know, those in power and in the shadow governments and stuff like that, they use reversing against us. So I'm going to use that not necessarily against them, but for my own benefit. So when I reverse, all of my codons are open it becomes Nipo Era Snowdoc Yimphala, and that means the same thing. And I put that energy into the water as well. So all my codons are open, Nipo Era Snowdoc Yimphala. And one of these days, hopefully, it manifests into all my codons being open. Yes, and, the, and okay, I'm getting confirmation. Yes to the throw thing from Don. Uh, Sarah, I've been having the hot breath throat. Yes, dryness in the throat due to expansion of the throat chakra from Morlito. Wonderful. Yes, so y there's more confirmation on that. And this is why it's so important, too. When you're experiencing these um, energy shift symptoms, don't feel uncomfortable to post something on your Facebook page because you're going to get that confirmation back from many other people. What seems like... You might seem you might feel like oh gosh you know people are going to think I'm crazy. Well, you know what? There's a lot of us that don't, and there's a lot of us that are looking for those confirmations from other people 
that that show us that this this is real and this is happening right now. So um, be sure to make those posts on your Facebook page and let other people know that this is real. It's happening, and we're in the process of going into the event that shifts humanity forever. So I'm going to going to leave it off for there right now, and I just want to thank everyone for joining me, whether you're watching live or on the recorded version or on Facebook and sending you lots of love and light. Thank you all. Namaste.